The best relationship advice no one ever told you. Social psychology explained presence. The thought alone of being in love with someone gives us feelings of joy and excitement. When we say being in love, our wandering minds begin to flash romantic scenes as we saw in telenovelas. Not to mention our tendency to fantasize about someone we have feelings for, along with creating the version of them in our minds. But, that isn't always the case. A lot of relationships fail due to several reasons, incompatibility, differing values, lack of communication, and many more. When we no longer experience the whirlwind of emotions we felt at the beginning of the relationship, reality would tell us that relationships aren't about fleeting memories filled with fantasies and floating on cloud nine. Once the euphoric rush of falling in love has worn off, we will be reaching new heights of discovering the true essence of being in love. Most of us have seen couples split after a few years of marriage and teens entering into no-label relationships. Nowadays, it seems a challenging conquest for partners to keep their relationships last. For a relationship to stand the test of time, a strong foundation of love, trust, and commitment must be present. Disagreements, fights, arguments, and cold wars between couples are definitely inevitable, especially if both of you have differences in your goals, preferences, and decisions in life. You might be the one who seeks advice or someone who listens to your friend's relationship dilemma. Hearing inspiring words of support and encouragement from a friend or family member on how to make your relationship work is one of the most comforting feelings in the world. When we have a hard time dealing with our relationship, our response to a friend who usually gives advice differs depending on our situation. We might find their words comforting and uplifting or, sometimes, insulting and annoying. In most cases, we all want someone who can listen to us when a problem arises. Some might not need your words, yet seek your ears and shoulder to lean on. In case you need to hear some thoughts, here are a few of the best relationship advice no one ever told you. Just a gentle reminder for all who are currently in a relationship or who are still in the process of finding they're the one. When it comes to relationships, one size fits all is a myth. Some of these tips may not be applicable, thus, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Relationships come in all shapes and sizes. There is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all model in entering romantic relationships, thus, it is important for you and your partner to communicate with each other and settle the problem before going through this video. Consider assessing your relationship and reflect on what possible advice you can take to guide you on your way to thriving and lasting relationships. Number 10 Becoming the Right Person Before getting into a relationship, there are several things you have to consider. First, you have to ask yourself a list of things such as am I ready to be in a relationship? Can I handle a relationship while pursuing my passion? And am I real to myself and everyone around me? Tom Robbins once said, we waste time looking for the perfect lover, instead of creating the perfect love. Often, we vividly imagine the ideal partner we would love to have instead of becoming one. Sometimes, we get too fixated on these ideals to the point of putting ourselves aside. The law of attraction states that we attract who we are. When we start loving ourselves, we gradually focus on becoming our own better version. Consequently, we become ready to welcome and inspire other people in our lives and start attracting someone who's suited for us. It is best to acknowledge that you will not be the right person for everyone, and rejections will always be there, but they will never make you less as a person. Just be authentic, manifest your way to someone you want to have, and walk the talk. As cliche as it may sound, we should become the right person before looking for the right person. Number 9 Leave the Past Behind The moment we begin to live in the past, it will hinder us in finding what we truly deserve. Constantly dwelling in the shadows of your past will never open new doors allowing you to become happy again. Healing is a long and grueling process, but it should be your responsibility to treat the wounds stopping you from moving forward in life. It will never be easy, but it certainly comes, when you are fully healed and ready to fall in love again. To think, we cannot change what already happened. For some, it may take months and years to finally let go. It takes a lot of effort, patience, and time to move on from the past. Who said it would be easy? It will never be without you accepting the reality and choosing to focus on finding the love you truly deserve. The secret for most couples in long-term relationships is leaving the past behind them without forgetting the lessons they have learned from them. The practice of constant forgiveness and unconditional acceptance is the key to lasting relationships. Number 8 Seek Your Own Happiness 
Are you happy with yourself? One of the unspoken rules before entering into a relationship is to find your happiness first. Always remind yourself to focus on being happy with yourself before finding the right person for you. By doing so, you may be able to acknowledge your self-worth and avoid seeking validation from someone you are with. Some couples break up due to common reasons, they are not happy anymore. Why? At times, we tend to depend on our happiness. For years, this misconception has remained in our culture, that we needed someone to complete us. Well, that is a wrong mindset. You should be complete on your own. Be happy with yourself first, then find someone you can be happy with. The source of your happiness must start within yourself. Number 7. Create Realistic Expectations Some of you might not agree with this. Sometimes, watching heart-fluttering romantic dramas can cause us to set unrealistic expectations with our own relationships and romance. It may be difficult to accept, but in reality, the feeling of excitement fades. Some red flags we consider in relationships were romanticized in fictional romance. It may give you fluttering effects, but those gestures may be disrespectful and abusive. Let us not be blinded by these scenes and begin setting realistic expectations with our partners. As a consequence, we can prevent ourselves from toxic and abusive relationships. Love without conditions. Be realistic. Build your relationship with a firm foundation. By following these things, we continuously thrive in our relationships and become flexible enough. Number 6. Discover profound reasons to stay in the relationship. Are you pressured by your friends or family members to stay in that relationship? Well, if yes. You should start to reflect and ask yourself, why am I still holding on to this relationship? Some cultures nowadays still practice arranged marriages. Unfortunately, most of these people are only pressured by their family members to marry someone with whom they aren't actually in love. Some might be single for a long time then settle with a person who comes along first. Others might think they will never find someone and marry at the right time, so they stick with people they don't deserve at all. A constant reminder to everyone who is single right now, not finding love does not make you less of a person. You are still capable of loving and giving love. Number 5. Practice Forgiveness Do not focus on winning an argument, instead, be the first one who forgives. Holding on to grudges and resentments will lead to distance. Studies have shown that forgiveness is essential to making your relationships and marriages last longer. Why is forgiveness important? Forgiveness is both a learned skill and a strength. It is a long process. You have to practice offering and accepting forgiveness. By doing so, it will strengthen your relationships and move you forward in life. Forgiveness doesn't mean tolerating there. Number 4. Embracing Imperfections and Nurturing Growth Mindset Acknowledging that both of you have insecurities, flaws and weaknesses is the beginning of creating a healthy environment for you and your partner. Psychology Today found out that 70% of conflicts in romantic relationships are rooted in disagreements between partners about the qualities they lack. To improve any kind of relationship, accepting that you and your partner have strengths and weaknesses is the first essential step. Embracing their imperfections doesn't mean settling with their unacceptable traits. It goes beyond acceptance. It takes two to tango. Both of you have to reevaluate and acknowledge that you have flaws. Develop a growth mindset and work on yourself. Some of us may lose sight of how important this factor is to our relationships, but you have to be reminded that this is an ongoing process. Number 3. Continue building love maps. Imagine your relationship is your home. A house can't be built without a strong foundation, right? Dr. Gottman from the Gottman Institute introduced to us the sound relationship house, using the house as a metaphor to guide couples for stronger and lasting relationships. The two pillars that support the whole relationship house consist of trust and commitment. Without these two, strong relationships are quite impossible. No matter how happy you are in a relationship, you and your partner should constantly build love maps that enable you to get to know each other more. Along with sharing admiration and creating shared meaning, you have to develop a positive mindset and practice effective conflict management. Number 2. Be Emotionally Supportive Recent studies from Psychology Today have shown that women are most likely to demand emotional support from men. Women tend to express more negative emotions than men. Understand that your partner also experiences constant struggles thus, 
do your best in offering compassion, understanding, and reassurance. In relationships, we should be considerate of each other's feelings. Men and women should strive to be emotionally supportive of their partners. Telling them you love them isn't enough, you should show them how you feel and that you are with them when tough times come. Number 1 Be consistent in showing love and appreciation. Who doesn't want to be loved and appreciated? None, right? Being in a relationship means you have to show them what you really feel about them. When we are appreciated, we are happier. We want to feel valued and appreciated by our small gestures, continuous efforts, and given time. Appreciation drives us to do our best which can help strengthen our relationships. Research shows that some men have vulnerable egos thus, they tend to seek validation and approval from others. Bringing this on a positive note, women must also give reassurance to their partners. Men also want to be complimented, they want to hear that you love them and show how much you adore them. It doesn't need to be a grand gesture, it is your consistent small gestures and simple ways to show love and appreciation that matter. There are more ways to strengthen your relationships but keep in mind these relationship tips to make you and your partner genuinely happy. Communicate your needs, create realistic expectations and be yourself. Some of this relationship advice may not work for you. Hence, it is very important to sit with your partner and talk things out. Behind every disagreement, there is room for patience and understanding. Behind every disappointment, there is genuine happiness waiting. Behind every failed relationship, there is a chance for self-love and doors for new love. May we not be shaken with fleeting moments of sparks and strive for love that lasts. The love that thrives over the years is what we all deserve to have. That kind of love, not forced by the feeling of loneliness, not built by selfish desires, and not driven by lust. In this generation filled with broken promises and relationships with an infirm foundation, let us relentlessly seek the love that survives through storms, thrives through pain, and evolves undauntedly.